The extreme distances present new challenges for this time's mission control team, who must remotely maneuver both the probe and the lunar rover to a high level of accuracy. Our reporter Han Bing has been granted special access to the command center where it's all taking place. This is the Beijing Aerospace Control and Command Center. It's the headquarters of the tracking and control system of China's lunar probing satellite, the Chang'e 3. Moments after the launch, all of the monitoring and command orders will be made from here, making this place, this project's nerve center. Going into the heart of China's space program, or some might say the brain. Wu Feng Lei, deputy director of the system design department, explains why the tracking and the control system is key to the lunar project. This command hall decides the fate of Chang'e 3. Are run again and again. We need to rehearse the whole process and do extra practice for some crucial stages, like the braking, landing, and separation of the lander and moon rover. The Chang'e 3 will involve China's first use of an X band observation system in the soft landing and for the moon rover. China has built two giant antennas for that specific task. There's also the Unified S-Band Observation System, or USB, and the Very Long Baseline Interferometry, or VLBI. Simply put, they are used to track the distance and the angle position of the satellite for orbit determination. Through receiving the data from the rover, we know its working conditions, and we also send orders to control its function through the image data it sends back to us. So, it's a two-way communication. Senior engineer Xi Lu Hua has worked on all three Chang'e projects. She says this first moon rover provides both a challenge and an inspiration in deep space tracking and control. Well, the state-of-the-art Aviation Command and Control Center has witnessed all of China's space progress, including the Shenzhou manned space missions and China's previous two lunar probes. This is the place where the scientists and engineers collect data, monitoring signals, and make crucial decisions at each stage. And it's here that China will write another page of aviation history with the launch of the Chang'e 3. I'm CCTV, Beijing.